Hi, you guys. I'm Carrie Penny, the Happy Crafty Homemaker, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are not confused as to why I opened the video by just like laughing at you guys. This is now my third video in a row of filming. I have no idea what time it is anymore. It's got to be going 1030 now. Um, it's been a long day. I will probably film my haul video tomorrow because I just don't think I can talk into the camera anymore after this. But um, as the description down below says, we have somehow accidentally already gotten started on our next subscription box for review. And I think I left the information for it downstairs. We'll see. Um, so this month we are review, or the, for the next three months, we're reviewing the Knit Picks Crochet, Crochet Lover, I think. Yes, hand-picked Crochet Lover subscription box. And this actually says it's February's box, but I didn't sign up for this until March 14th. But it says February 2019 on there. I'm very confused. I might actually reach out about that because I just now realized this. I ordered this on March 14th, or not 14th, March 10th. No. I got it like three days after I ordered it. I was expecting it to start with April's box. Not March's box, but according to this, I actually got February's box. <sighs> you guys. Anyway. Oh, no, I did include everything down here. Ah. So, except for how much the box actually cost. I think the box is $30 but I'm not entirely sure. It's either $25 or $30. The link and information should be down below. I might splash across the screen what the actual cost was. <laughs> um, so this month's project is the bubble wash cloths. And you get this beautiful, I mean, really, seriously, high quality, glossy, beautiful, printed pattern and it's just the I'm mean, seriously all this for a one page pattern because this is page two and the pattern bloop, is on this side um this is one of their purchase patterns the pattern on their website costs $2.99 I did pre-open this box. I don't know if I just specified that or not because I'm getting a little, I'm just drinking water too. It's just been that long of a day. Um, All right, so we got in this one, two, four, Six balls of their Kotlin. Guess what, Becky? Bunny Farm Crochet. I'm going to be doing a lot more dishcloths this month, it looks like. Um, So this is 70% fancy cotton and 30% linen. 123 yards. And it retails for $3.99 on their website. I got two in the color Cashew two in the color swan, and two in the color raindrop. So, I'm not saying, like, I mean, I know a lot of people who use their cotton and just love it. It does not feel like dishcloth cotton. I've used their dishy now. It feels nothing like the dishy. So, this is definitely some bougie, fancy dishcloth things. Um... And it, it's got a much softer hand and feel at its base. Like, this is the kind of thing, uh, if you want to make a crochet cover-up for the beach, 
Um, it's 50 grams, I said. Yeah, 50 grams. So, I mean, not a whole lot per ball, but you are getting something that's a little bit nicer. I'm familiar with Knit Picks quality. I will probably go through and weigh these just out of morbid curiosity after Ross's um, Smells Like Yarn podcast. Uh, after his experience with the fancy stuff he got, not weighing anywhere near the right amount. Uh, the stuff I ordered at about the same time was all fine from their normal stuff, but neither here nor there. That's not what we're here to discuss. The other thing that's in my little um, box here, aside from the cards, was a crochet hook. They did in include a size G crochet hook. Um, I will probably start trying to use it, not like it, and stick it in a box for a giveaway because... Um, I pretty much use the Amore hooks from Clover exclusively. Um, I do like the idea of a wood hook, but that is very tiny in my hands. And I don't, I've never found a pencil grip gripper that I like that much for the way I hold my hook. Um, I do hold overhand knife. I've been practicing pencil grip though. Um, I was watching one of the ladies at our crochet group at the church. Um, this does have a very nice, oof, totally, totally out of the camera there. Doo, doo, doo. Um, I don't know if y'all can see that, but very large groove in the head there. I've never used their crochet hooks. I have used their knitting needles. I like them. They're just fine. Um, there's nothing wrong with them, but there's also nothing to rave about them. Um, as far as, like, aside from, they are wood hooks. <laughs> they are wood hooks or uh, needles that are pointy versus the ones that are very dull. So, this appears to have a fairly rounded head on the end, which for working with cotton probably won't be a bad thing. But... I will probably start with this hook and then move to my Amore hook because I will probably not like working with something that tiny. Um, so this isn't a slam on the quality of the products that they sent for the for this first month. And I will, before I publish this, probably reach out to them and ask them why I'm getting February's box in. March when I ordered April. Um, yeah, that kind of, I mean, everything about this says February 2019. I might have to reach out. Becky from Funny Farm Crochet is doing their knit skill, skill builder kit. And she's been working on like a scarf pattern uh, using the chroma yarns. Um, I might reach out to her and ask her, since she has experience with their subscription box, I haven't seen anybody reviewing these, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad I caught that. So I will contact them tomorrow um, or before I get this up and ask them, did they send me the wrong thing? But regardless of whether or not they sent me the wrong thing, stuck the wrong card in this month's box or anything else, um, a little uninspiring to get dishcloths. <laughs> I mean, on top of the fact I've already made, um, uh, I'm now up to like 20, no, 18. I still have my other book up here from where I was filming my show and tell. Let's see. I'm at 19 dishcloths for the year so far. Um, I've only worked down like that much of my cotton in this giant bag full. So getting more cotton that's just going to extend my working on dishcloths and it's literally dishcloths is a little uninspiring to me. Um, it doesn't even feel like it's a skill builder thing. Um, but as far as like the retail value versus what I'm getting in my box, um, 
like I said, I can't remember if this was $25 or $30, but the total retail value of this box is $32.42. So I'm nowhere near my like 25 to 50% off expected discount. But it is a little interesting. Um, at least we're making our retail value and that's not including shipping. Um, did they include the shipping price on here? No. So, I mean, I'm, uh... I'm not mad. I'm just not super excited to be making. I think this is going to end up being like four dish claws. Maybe six dish claws. There are six balls of it. Um, so I could maybe get as many as six dish claws out of this month. Which, I mean, Lily Sugars and Cream, like right now, not Sugar and Cream. Yeah, sugar and cream. The one that sold at Michael's. I was just looking at that at the store and like the standard size makes one dish cloth right now is at $2 a ball. So, I mean, $4 for, for something that's got some linen content in it and it's actually a quality cotton. Probably isn't that much. Um... If you don't go to the dollar store to buy dish or body cloths, bath cloths, I mean, those are like $4. So, I mean, if you get three of those, that's 20 bucks plus a hook and the pattern. So, I mean, all like, I'm not put off at the value right now. I'm more put off by the fact I'll be making dish cloths out of it. Um... So yeah, I, I will reach out to Nitpicks before I upload this video and I will come back and do a update. But like I said, it's, it's got to be pushing 11 o'clock right now and I'm ready for bed. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off here and I will come back and uh, catch up with you after I talk to Nitpicks. I hope you guys have fun in the in the meantime. <laughs> Bye. Hi guys. So this is now like I filmed last Tuesday the unboxing, I think. And now we're on Monday the following week. So it's been one whole week. Sorry for the... I'm cleaning and scrubbing and doing all that kind of stuff and trying to reduce the pollen in my house. So everything's puffy and swollen and I was not putting on makeup. So I just talked to Knit Picks and they do their renewal on the 15th. I placed my order on the 12th. So for some reason they sent me February's box. I will not be getting March's box and I'll pick up with a regular subscription in April. Um... They do do it to where everybody gets the same thing every month. I'm so confused, you guys. I mean, really, I am very, like... If you're going to send out something that quickly... I mean, they, they shipped this. They had this out in the mail to me in two days. So, they sent it on... If I place my order on the 12th, they sent it on, say, the 14th, and the renewal date was the 15th. I would say anything, any order that's, if that's how you're going to do it, any order that's placed for your subscription box after the 1st or after the 10th, I would assume for the next month or that month's box, not the previous month's box in that case. Um, especially given, like, it's not going to be consecutive, so I'm not getting February, March, April. I'm getting February, April, May with a renewal in June. A little, uh, okay. Um, also on the website, and I didn't address this with them. Um, I might 
down the road address this um in the facts section of the website they say that the box's value is supposed to be sixty dollars and i'm not sure if that's from where they started with their knit boxes which some of those do have a higher value than the crochet box or what but like i said this box is like 32 oh i put it in here it should be on the card in here. Should be, whether or not it still is, once again. Yeah, the retail value on this is $32.42. So, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm slightly confused as to their logistics and their planning on this. Um... I mean, I'll keep giving it a shot. I'll keep keep going. We'll we'll be open minded on this, but that's where I've gotten so far on my first one. Pippin is acting crazy. He's been following me around all day. I just got done folding all the laundry, and he's been literally like bouncing all over the room. So hopefully, by the time I start vacuuming, he'll calm back down. But. I did want to come back in and update you guys. I'm going to go ahead and smoosh these two videos together and get all this uploaded for you. So I guess sometime next month after the 15th, we will get April's box. Although I'm very confused as to how, the who, how logistics of, yeah. Uh, like I said, it would make sense if they gave me, if they did what Jimmy Bean did and like ex, like you had two shipments on top of each other. So like when I place my order on March 12th, if they sent in the shipment for March for the February box and then would turn around and immediately ship me the March box a week later, that would make sense to me because then it would be February, March and April. But the fact that they sent me February's box they're skipping March's box and then giving me April, May is just really weird. <laughs> um, so we'll keep going. We'll see how it, I want something that I'm in love with. I want something that I can tell you guys how much I'm in love with it, how exciting it is. Um, you know, I'm still really enjoying nitpicks. I didn't cancel my nitpick subscription yet just because I'm enjoying everything I'm getting, even though I don't necessarily like each project concept for each month. Um, so I'm looking for something that I can at least say I could see subscribing to this for six months or for a year. Um, which I mean, darn good yarns I could have, but Anyway, I will see you guys soon. Once again, sorry for the, this is what I look like on days I don't film. <laughs> um, yes, so I will see you guys shortly. Hopefully I'll have something interesting to share with you guys soon. Uh, I'm getting a... Uh getting all sorts of messages on my phone now. So I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye.